Georgetown 911, where is your emergency? The unnerving sounds of a murder in progress. Hello? The gut-wrenching screams of an anguished mother. How could you have murdered my son? The torment bestowed upon a wife and mother of six. He was fine. And he's fine now, and I can't, I'm, I'm not gonna believe anything. A fictional novel filled with real life clues. This is some really strange stuff, but I mean, potentially uh, dynamite for the prosecution. When NBA star Lorenzen Wright's life was cut down in a hail of gunfire. Hello? He left behind not just his devoted family, childhood friends, and rabid fans. The Hoops hero also left a daunting mystery that would confound Memphis police for years. This death was very, very shocking and took a huge toll, especially that the fact that no one knew who did it. The history of Memphis is rich and profound. It's where the king of rock and roll once ruled and where another king died fighting for the rights of all. But Lorenzen Wright staked his claim as the city's most recent favorite son. Not as a king, but a prince of the court. Lorenzen Wright was, is a hometown hero, really. I mean, he's a, he was a beloved figure. Lorenzen's swift rise to the top was rooted in deeply humble beginnings. How long have you known him? How'd you meet? Been known him since the fourth grade. We met between our mothers. Our mothers were friends. Scrum just never lost touch. We always stayed in contact. Always just had a certain chemistry. Lorenzen was a star at the University of Memphis. Then he catapulted to the NBA as the seventh pick in the first round. Did you watch it on TV? Yeah, of course. What was going through your head? I mean, just seeing my friend get drafted and seeing his family up there, it was an awesome feeling. This woman accompanied Lorenzen on his road to stardom. His wife, Shira, the daughter of one of his youth coaches. Shira was with him basically from the very beginning. Yeah, Shira was five years older than Lorenzen, but she was a beautiful young lady. The Wrights built quite the brood along the way. Six kids, in fact. Enough for a basketball team plus one. How was he as a father? Oh, my God. I'd say it's, it's the number one thing that he cared about most in this world were his kids. He always put them ahead of anything, everything he did. Lorenzen was crushed by the tragic death of a seventh child, a baby girl who fell victim to sudden infant death syndrome. The Hoop star established a scholarship in her name and got deeply involved in philanthropy. He's always gave and gave and gave. Lorenzen played for several pro teams before ending up with his beloved hometown franchise, the Memphis Grizzlies. Everywhere we went, people wanted autographs, take pictures. It was huge. How did he take all that in? He enjoyed it, he loved it, he embraced it. Uh, he never was selfish um, or anything. Anybody that wanted an autograph, he kind of gave it to him. He took pictures with anybody who asked for it. He was very humble. He had a long career, but um, very profitable as well. How much did he net over that time? According to court records, he earned $55 million over the course of, I think it was 13 years that he was in the NBA. But by the time Lorenzen Wright's hoop days hit the final buzzer, his rags to riches story and brilliant career had dimmed to a familiar cliche. Too much fame, too much fortune, much too soon. By the time he was done playing, he was broke, pretty much. I mean, he had two expensive homes that were in foreclosure. And according to Shara, they had a lot of creditors after them. He's got a lot of family and people coming at you as well, too. You know, you got this money and fame and success had you. So the problem was he was a giver. He gave to anybody who put their hand out. It's that dangerous two-headed monster that stalks the unsuspecting sports superstar, luring him down a path of self-destruction, money and women. Lorenzen loved to score in more ways than one. It turned out he was a chronic cheater. Nearly a woman in every port, as they say, Shira was devastated. You really get the sense of somebody who feels betrayed, hurt, cheated on. Close friends were stunned. They were together for so long, and what they put out to, to the public and to family and friends was a pretty much good relationship. Lorenzen Wright had flamed out, broke, divorced, and now living hundreds of miles away in Atlanta, desperately missing his kids. He told childhood friend Michael Gibson he was rethinking his life. He's like, I might as well get back to my wife, you know, and just be happy. That's what he told me. 
He might as well just get back with her and be happy because he wasn't happy in the dating scene. Right. Coming up, <laughs> a novel with a violent and vengeful premise leads cops down a revealing path. The theme that comes through is that of a, of a very embittered woman. The call was picked up by a 911 dispatcher in Germantown, and they never, they never pursued it immediately. What do you mean they didn't pursue it? It's still a shooting. It's a shooting, but they didn't, they didn't know it was a shooting. They tried, to, they tried to trace the call, and they couldn't. And they just somehow just dropped the ball. They, they should have alerted Memphis. 